Chapter 2. Things to do before beginning a spring training program. You never want to just jump right into a new exercise program, especially one that is as intensive as spring training. In this part of the course, we're going to look at some things you should do before you start your sprinting training so that you minimize your risk of injury and maximize your results once you start your spring training program. First, see your doctor. The first thing you want to do is to visit your regular doctor and discuss your plan to begin a spring training program. Your doctor will likely want to examine you to make sure that you are healthy enough to do this type of training. Depending on your age and the overall physical fitness level, you may need to have your heart and lungs checked. If your doctor says that you aren't healthy enough to begin a spring training program, listen to them. There are plenty of other types of exercise that you can do to get in shape. You may also simply need to get into better shape by losing some weight and building up some muscle tone before beginning, so be patient if this is the case. 2. Decide why you're doing it. Spring training is hard, so before you begin, you want to make sure you know why you're doing it. This will help you stay focused during training because you have a specific goal in mind. Perhaps you're looking to help boost your weight loss by adding some intense cardio activities into your routine, or you want to compete in sprinting competitions. Whatever it is, keep that goal in mind while training. 3. Do your research. This sprinting train course is an excellent place to start because it gives you all the information you need to know on how to begin training as a sprinter. But don't let your research end here. You should also watch videos of Olympic sprinters to have a good understanding of how their bodies move while they are running. If you know anyone who sprints, ask them about it as well. 4. Make a training schedule. One of the best ways to keep yourself on track with your training is to set up a training schedule. Be sure to give yourself enough time during every session to warm up, train and then cool down. All three of these are vital to any exercise program, especially one as intensive as sprint training. The most important thing is to pick a time of the day that will work the best for you. You won't be sprinting every day, so plan your schedule accordingly. Some days you'll be doing less intensive exercises to improve your form, in other days you'll be focusing on building up specific muscles through strength training. These various exercises will have to be spread out throughout the week so you don't strain yourself. Once you've followed all these steps, you'll be ready to begin your sprint training.